what is up boyfriends girlfriends and everybody in between my name is Lexi if you haven't seen my face before go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the nice comment shout out of the video goes to this person right here thank you so so much for all of your kind words they truly truly mean the world and if you want to be my next nice comment shout out in my next video just leave a nice comment down below welcome to this very exciting video guys this has been a long time coming and I'm not gonna ramble on too much because I do a lot of talking in this video this video is my apartment tour if you guys are new here I am a senior in college I graduate in May which is like crazy but this is my very first time living completely on my own last year I lived in the same apartment but I had three roommates but this year I am all on my own and I've been absolutely loving it I'm gonna stop talking and just get into showing you guys my space because that is what you are here for hello you guys and welcome to my apartment tour super excited to show you guys around so let's just go ahead and get into it so here obviously is my front door where I enter and exit my unit as we all know how apartments and doors work so yeah that's that but moving on to something more exciting directly to your left I have this amazing entryway setup that I absolutely adore So here it is. I'm gonna first start with this mirror. I got it from Target. I had this shipped to me three different times. The first two times it came completely shattered and broken and it was horrible. But then third time was the charm and I got it all in one piece thankfully. I love this mirror so much. There's a lot of mirrors that I have in my apartment which you guys will see throughout this video. I absolutely adore this mirror. It really does open up the space. It serves a very functional purpose for if my friends are over wanting to get ready in this area as well as the bathroom and the other mirrors that I have in my apartment and I just love the simplicity I love a circle mirror I love 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 round mirrors and I always wanted to have that sort of aesthetic Pinteresty entryway setup with the round mirror and the console table which is exactly what I have here so on the left side of this console table I have this gorgeous lamp also from Target I love this lamp right here I'm not one for like overhead lighting majority of the time I have it on obviously just for the sake of this video but I love just having all of my lamps on in my place and like no overhead lighting for like a nice warm cozy feel so this lamp gives the entryway and just like my entrance like my hallway a great 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 amount of light next to my lamp on my console table here I have this beautiful beautiful bohemian style um, wooden bowl and I love that it's like oblong I throw all of my necessities on here so I have my keys I have my sunglasses and I just have a couple of lip balms on here just if I need to throw something on or in my bag before I head out so this is like a really cute piece I also love the white detailing to once again kind of brighten up the space and yeah I found this at I think either home goods or Marshall's I think I found it at Marshall's for some reason and I love it found a lot of my stuff at TJ Maxx and Marshall's and it's really hard to find like exactly the same pieces at places like that so it's it does make my space feel very unique. Moving on to the right side of my entryway table, I have these two gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous candle holders and they have a gold accent towards the bottom of them. I love gold, it's my favorite metallic and I do definitely play into that throughout my space and this just adds a little hint of that straight away as soon as you walk in. I also have this glass soap dispenser here but it's filled with hand sanitizer. I do ask most of my guests to sanitize before they walk in, especially after like I just cleaned. I do like sanitize and disinfect my apartment like commonly touch surfaces at least once a week so especially right after I do that I do like to ask for my guests to sanitize <laughs> just so I can keep that up it might be a little anal of me but they don't mind so I keep this here for myself as well now moving on to this bottom shelf of my console slash entryway table which by the way totally forgot to mention is from Amazon and I love it so 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 much I was so stressed out about making the decision to get this in black or gold and you guys know when you're shopping for different gold furniture pieces online the golds likely aren't going to match exact so i was like let me just get black 
and I'm just gonna play with colors on the entryway table and it'll look really bright and beautiful and pretty which is exactly what I have going on and I also love that I ended up getting the black because it was obviously easy to match it with my round mirror that I have here so on this shelf we're gonna start to the left I have um, this really great room spray from Amika I love this room spray so so much it smells so good I like to spray it just like right before I leave my apartment when I'm going to class or just like like leaving out for the day and when I come back it can be like six hours later and it still smells like this room fragrance next up I do have some antibacterial hand wipes smells so good so a nice pop of color but still usable and functional as well next up I have this hourglass from Ikea this is absolutely amazing I love that it has this kind of like gray white neutral in here and I don't really use this more for decor but I think it adds like a nice little flair of just like a design touch to the bottom shelf of this entryway table next up over here I have three books I have a Kate Spade book and then I have two bohemian decor and culture style books sometimes I just like to crack these open when I'm in a little bit of a rut and I just want to look at something pretty and aesthetic um, so yeah I do have these books here which are really really nice and just add that touch that I like put effort into decorating this even though it's a really simple piece of furniture next underneath my entryway table here I have these two baskets with two pillows on top and I absolutely adore them this was my mom's idea my mom was so smart when it comes to making decor functional for like storage this is a studio apartment I don't think I mentioned that yet so a big priority was like doubling my decor as storage and just making it as functional as possible which this idea serves perfectly in that sense so these two baskets have a bunch of stuff in them I have extra face masks grocery bags I have some of my handbags in here and then I just kind of top them off with the pillows so they have that decorative touch um, these baskets are from TJ Maxx my mom got them for me as a surprise and I love them so so much and then these two white pillows are from Target I always get so many compliments about my apartment smelling amazing all the time and so I have a lot of different little tips and tricks for that but one of them I actually have hidden under my console table and I'm gonna show you right now this video is not at all sponsored it's gonna sound like it because I just love these products so much and I highly recommend you guys getting these this is a Pura and basically it's a Bluetooth connected smart like home scenting device. I don't know if I'm explaining that properly but basically you plug this in it has refills kind of like one of those Bath and Body Works wallflowers which I have in my kitchen which we're gonna get to in a second and oh my gosh so good so you can put two scents in here and then it connects to this app and then you can put it on a schedule so let's say you wake up at like 6 a.m and you leave at 8 a.m you can like have it turn on at 6 turn off at 8 and then let's say you come back from like class or work or wherever like 5 30 or 6 p.m every day you can have it set to come on at that same time so when you walk in your apartment is super scented and also you're not wasting your fragrance when you're not in your space you can also change the intensity of the scent it tells you when you need to refill it they have so many different scents for refill and yeah love this so much you keep this plugged up in the outlet where this console table is so it's just like perfect nobody ever knows it's there but it's so so great because like as soon as you walk in you're just hit with a nice beautiful scent and it carries throughout the apartment very very beautifully so that's my sort of like entrance setup and I'm going to turn to the right now and I'm going to show you guys my closet it's not anything special but it is a really really great size especially for the studio apartment and it makes my storage and organization so so easy and so so doable okay so here's the closet let's go ahead and open her up I do have a lot of clothes okay so i hope this is a judgment free zone um but this is my closet here she is i have a bunch of floor space i have my luggage in here i have pretty much all of my clothes that i wear every day i have my cleaning supplies and the way that i organize it just looks like a closet it doesn't look like it has 
too many purposes which i love a lot i do have on the left door of the closet i do have some hooks and like hangers where i hang my backpack my coat that i throw on all the time my purse umbrella just things that i want easy access to that i don't want to have to like go deep into my closet for i do have these great hanging storage solutions that are from target on the left i have like the shorter sweater cubby and i put all of my or most of my sweatshirts in there and to the right of that i do have two of the shoe storage tiers and they just like hang up with a hanger and they don't take up too much space it's perfect have my jeans on hangers and just it's a closet. I do use the vertical space that I have on the shelves to organize like seasonal things. Now we can go ahead and move on to the rest of this hallway. So let's do that right now. Like one step past the closet, I do have these two pieces of artwork here. I love, love, love this specific style of art. And I love that it incorporates all of my favorite colors and obviously the colors that are in my main living space, which we're going to get to in a bit. So yeah, I actually had a matching artwork piece to this top one here and then I was sleeping one night and then it just like fell and it broke and that's what it's like when your unit is surrounding the units of frat boys who got kicked off of the hill at my university so little sneak peek into that anyway i had a matching artwork piece to this and it fell and it broke in the middle of the night so now i do not have it but my mom got me this piece which i used to have on my entryway table and i kind of like the juxtaposition of it a lot so it kind of works out i feel so so fortunate to have in unit washer and dryer I remember back in the day, freshman year, using like the dorm washing and drying stations and all that. People like moving your clothes, taking your wet clothes out of the washer and just setting them on top so they could wash their clothes. It was horrible. So I'm very, very grateful that I do have this laundry closet. And this again, I would say is organized very well and is very functional as well. So I'm going to bring you guys inside to show you all the details. Dryer on the top, washer on the bottom, does everything that I need it to do, is absolutely perfect. Washes my clothes really well, dries them really well. Like I said, does everything that it needs to do. And then to the right of my washer dryer, combo little tower that i have i have this amazing amazing storage solution from ikea it is this three-tier rolling storage cart on there i have my detergents my bleach dryer sheets softener iron like i have everything that kind of like would make sense to go into like an actual laundry room on that little cart and it takes up very minimal amounts of space i also have my broom i sweep my apartment pretty much every day especially when i'm in the kitchen um cooking which is every single day for me i sweep at least one time sometimes two times a day because something that i noticed with like just specifically the floors that i have in here at my home in atlanta we have like real hardwood floors but these sort of like laminate i don't want to say like fake hardwood floors but you guys know what i mean they collect so much dust and dirt and it's like so noticeable so i'm constantly sweeping so that's why i keep my broom in this closet i also have my drying rack behind the rolling storage cart and then on the top of my little washer dryer tower i do have even more storage in these plastic cubbies i have like paper towels Towels, extra cleaning supplies. I have toilet paper behind the two plastic storage containers that you guys are seeing right now. And yeah, that's my washer dryer combo. This is my favorite floor plan of the studios in this apartment. The other ones are, in my opinion, very, very small and feel like a shoebox. But this hallway right here just changes the game and gives you so much space to do whatever you want with it and really make it feel like an apartment rather than a dorm which is very easy for studios to feel like sometimes. Now we are going to head on over to the wall that I'm facing, which is where the entryway table is. So the wall to my left when you walk in, and that is where my bathroom is. Okay, I know I'm a little backlit here, but this is my bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys inside. When you first walk in, I have another 
storage organizer solution from ikea this is the four tier storage organizer very similar to the one that i have across the hall in my laundry closet but this one doesn't have wheels and it also has an extra tier because the one in my laundry closet as you guys know had wheels and was a three tier on the top shelf i have an abundance of things i have my makeup palettes towards the back and then towards the front on this top shelf i have things that i use when i'm immediately getting out of the shower so like body spray deodorant lotion i also have have some of my face creams here that I like to use when I wash my face and all that. You guys know how face creams work. I feel like I'm over explaining, but you guys get the gist, okay? I just want to make this as in depth as possible, but you guys can always ask me questions if I leave anything out that you're curious about in the comments below. This second tier here is sort of like my bathroom tier and it has extra rolls of toilet paper, flushable wipes, I have like excess of pads, I have poopery, I have a little daily shower and bathroom spray and I also have some unscented hygiene wipes just for me and my guests to freshen up if need be. On the top of my toilet I have this basket here and it has pads and tampons. Basically whenever I have my friends over I want everything to be accessible for them and honestly even if I don't have company over I like to just have things not like everywhere but still like out and accessible so I don't have to dig for the essential things that I need. The last two tiers are just filled with my like shower linens so my washcloths my hand towels and my body towels as well i do have a scale tucked toward the side leaning against the wall right there you guys can see i have these shelves i got these from amazon by the way i will have absolutely every single thing possible that i can link in the description box for you guys to shop so i have three shelves all three of them are from amazon they came in a set and let's see on the first shelf i have a lot of products okay i have my bad habit skincare collection right now bad habit is my favorite favorite skincare brand so i have all of that right there and then i have some pink stuff i tried to like organize it so it's like kind of cute you know i have my like pink cosmetics so i have my foreo luna mini 2 which i use to wash my face so so great that was life changing and then i have my foreo ufo and then to the left i have my whey products which i have been using for my braids as you guys can see this is the first time i've had braids in quite some time so i have been using the whey products for that and you guys can check out um an upcoming video for like how i use all their products i have my little like fragrance collection i don't know why that one's all the way over here two containers right here inside they have cotton swabs and cotton pads and then over here i have some extra skincare and then i have some gifted products from bloom i have this really really pretty once again piece of art that i love and then i have this like wooden arch that my mom got me um and i just like really like it there i feel like it adds like a nice sense of decor here is the sink area so we're gonna start to the left i have this hand towel holder um i use this when i'm here alone which i typically am but i mean like when i don't have gas this is the towel that i use to dry my hands and dry my face as well but if i do end up having gas of course you're going to be using this towel and just for sanitary and hygienic reasons i always make sure to put a fresh one out once i go back to using it on my face and just for personal use i have had this little pink acrylic storage organizer since my freshman year you guys have seen my freshman like move-in vlog and like, my freshman apartment where you guys know exactly what I'm talking about but I keep all of my makeup in here and on the top of here I just use this as like extra storage I have a Brazilian bum bum cream I have my favorite makeup cleansing balm at the moment and I also have my favorite hydration toner which ironically they're by the same company I do also have a Google mini in here and I love it I love to like play my music when I'm getting ready listen to podcasts while I'm in the shower and all that and like just have the audio like right here. I have the top tier of what typically would go on top of here, but here I just have like my makeup brushes, um, my lip products, and some of my like daily face washes, and also a little contact lens solution and two setting spray so it's kind of like a mixture of like my skincare and my makeup that I have here. Once again, like I don't like to have things everywhere but it's nice to just have things out so you don't have to dig for them and you can just have easy access moving swiftly along here is my shower it's a great shower i have this white shower curtain it's from i think home goods or something and yeah that's a shower i mean there's not really like, much to see it's just a shower <laughs> and here i do have my towel holder thing so that's the bathroom <laughs> um 
yeah, that's the bathroom. Let's move on. So as you come out of the bathroom and you walk over here, we have yet another mirror. I love this mirror so much. So many fun memories and like pictures and things like that that I've taken by myself with my friends in this mirror. This mirror is from Ikea and it's amazing. It really does open up this hallway space as I kept saying mirrors do. So that's that and now we're moving on to the main event. Once again, this is a studio apartment so technically everything is in the same room but I'm going to go over my living room, my kitchen, my dining room, my bedroom, and my sort of like office area. So let's get into it. Just for perspective purposes, you guys are now facing the door, like your backs are facing the door and this is the rest of the apartment. So let's get into the living room first. This is my living area. First, I want to highlight my favorite thing and what I feel like makes the entire apartment. This is my couch. It is from Albany Park. This is my dream couch. I always dreamed of like when I have my first place by myself, I would get an Albany Park couch. And my dreams came true thanks to Albany Park for gifting me this sofa. Albany Park will definitely be in my future and will constantly be in my present. I love this couch so much. I could not recommend a better couch and just like a better company. Their backstory is absolutely beautiful. Just go ahead and check them out. I will link them in the description box, of course. So my couch is this boucle. I don't know how to say that word. Balsal boucle. Balcal. I... I know I'm butchering it, but it has this beautiful, beautiful texture and it is this beautiful off-white color and it has a great undertone of cream but also like a nice gray for it to balance out really beautifully so i love this couch so much i love the gold legs i love that it is a raised piece of furniture one of my biggest tips is if you can always opt for raised pieces of furniture because it makes your space feel so much airier and like you have more space even though you have furniture like a big piece of furniture in your space love this couch so much and i decorated it with some beautiful beautiful pillows from world market so the first pillow i have on this couch is this beautiful lombard pillow from once again world market and i just love the texture like that is so so beautiful to me i love the coral and i also love the sort of like abstract line art that it has on here next pillow i have is from world market as well and it is this sort of like geometric colorful throw pillow i love this so much i also love the tassels that hang off the opposite ends of it i think that this gives such like a boho but still like modern mid-century modern vibe because of the geometric pattern but with the textures and the colors it just does add that sort of like bohemian comfy cozy element which i love a lot behind that pillow i have this cream pillow i did get this from home goods it's by the company magashoni home love it so much this has been rocking with me since i think like what freshman year last year i don't know i've had it for quite some time and it was just so easy to include this in my decor i also do have a throw blanket i have several throw blankets this one on my couch is from amazon home they gifted it to me which i'm so so grateful for it has one of my favorite colors of yellow which are also a huge part of the color palette in my decor moving on to my media console and also what makes my entire living room feel complete right beside my Albany Park couch and ottoman. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous leather chair, which also has gold legs. This was gifted to me from Burrow. I absolutely love Burrow. I love their backstory. I love their brand. I love the quality of their pieces. And I love, love, love how easy they are able to be put together. So I tend to sit in this little chair when I am reading a book, when I'm scrolling through TikTok, just when I just wanna feel like I'm in a little safe space, a safe corner. Also when I am doing like reading for classes, something that doesn't require me to like be hunched over at a desk ask this chair gets a lot of use out of it if you guys know the little yorkie milo one of my best friends nicole's dog 
I dog sit him occasionally and this is just his little throne. He loves it here. In this chair, I do have a couple of throw pillows as well. I have this beautiful, beautiful Bausel Boucle. Someone tell me how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. I know it's so obnoxious when people make videos and they don't know how to pronounce the things that they own, but that same matching material as my Albany Park sofa and ottoman. I also have this pillow. I've had it since freshman year. It's from Target, their Opal House collection, and I love it so much. And then I also have this beautiful, beautiful throw blanket that is from Marshalls and I got it on clearance, which was such a steal. Now moving on to my media console, let's get into it. Here I have my TV. I have a Capri Blue candle. Capri Blue is one of my favorite scents, if not my absolute favorite scent in the entire universe. And my mom actually gave me this pink one because it obviously matches my decor. I love to burn a candle right here when I don't have guests just because like I don't want anything to be knocked over. Um, but like when I'm just here by myself because when I'm watching TV, I just love to see like the light flickering and it's also just a great placement for the scent to be diffused throughout my entire apartment. I have my smart TV. This is like a Roku smart TV. It's pretty small, but it gets the job done and I also have these few things here so I have my Roku remote I have this little reed diffuser I got it from Primark my mom and I went to King of Prussia a few days ago and got this reed diffuser if I'm honest it doesn't smell like anything it's in this cotton scent that they have it doesn't smell like anything at all but I think it's cute so yeah and then I also have this plant from Ikea I've been wanting to get like a little plant holder for it but I just haven't been able to every time I go to the store basically I forget and so it's been without a little plant holder but she's vibing she's chilling and under here I just have a bunch of little knickknacks I use this as a double between decor and storage as you guys have seen that theme throughout my apartment I have some of my notebooks I have some of my jewelry I have some baskets which I have some things in and I just have a bunch of stuff on here I think what really makes this living space feel so separated and just like like a real living room is the rug that I have down underneath my couch and underneath the chair as well which was also gifted to me by Burrow. Burrow, thank you so much once again. I was so nervous about getting a rug online because obviously I couldn't see it in person, I couldn't see the undertones but this rug is so comfy, this rug is perfect, it's like a nice neutral without it being like too bright, it doesn't show a lot of dirt or like any debris or anything because of the pattern in it and it's super soft on my feet and it's the perfect size for me to separate my living room from my kitchen and also from where my bed is, aka my bedroom. Now we are in my bedroom area, which you can see is like one step away from my living room, but it doesn't feel as congested as it may seem. I still have a lot of my bedding that I've had since my freshman year dorm room tour and like my freshman year move in. I love this bedding so much. Most of it is from Target Opal House. This is a duvet cover from Ikea. This is a duvet cover from Target Opal House. The quilt is also from Target's Opal House collection. I have this pillow from Target. I have this pillow from Home Goods. I have these two pink pillows from Target. And then I have the two white shams that came with the Ikea duvet cover as well. But I just love the regal and fluffy and just over the top look of having so many layers on your bed this was definitely inspired by like pottery barns beds and my mom loves pottery barns so she kind of instilled a lot of her interior design likes and dislikes into me but I of course have my own flair so that's why my bed is just so grand <laughs> and then above my bed I do have this mirror I don't have a headboard but I wanted to add a little je ne sais quoi and also to add more texture I love 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 texture and so I do have this macrame mirror right above my bed to sort of act as like a bit of a headboard and I love it so much. I believe this is from Home Goods as well. I also have this lac shelf from Ikea. I had this in my last apartment, my bedroom in my last apartment, and it's perfect. I wanted like a sort of picture ledge type thing, but the picture ledge made me a little nervous because I also wanted more things than just the pictures on my shelf. So I opted for just like a regular shelf. So I have a few little knickknacks and accessories up there. Next to my bed, I have what I consider my nightstand, this little small table 
bolt from Ikea and it packs up really, really perfectly. I'll link it down below, of course. And then on my nightstand, I just have my Target lamp. Um, this is from, I think, the kids section, but I just love the color of it. I have this little jewelry organizer, this Gemini jewelry organizer, which was a gift. And then I have my Bath & Body Works sleep spray that I spray on my pillows every night. And I have my water cup. I have this wooden sort of rattan basket and it has all of my extra throw blankets and an extra throw pillow that sits on top. It is really, really cute decor wise, but also whenever I have my friends over, we always love to cuddle up with our throw blankets. And I just have them right here, easily accessible for them and a bunch of extras so that's perfect just past my bed sort of at the foot of it i have my desk area this desk did come with the apartment as well as like the bed and the media console so these apartment units they do come pretty much fully furnished. This desk and this desk chair came with the apartment and it's a really great size desk. I will say I absolutely hate the chair. It's comfortable, but it's super, super loud, which is so annoying. Um, so on my desk, this is the lamp that I was telling you guys earlier on in the video when I was in my entryway. Another Target lamp and it's so beautiful and it's beautiful gold brass color, which I love a lot. I keep my laptop here. I have some desk organization. I would kind of like to do like a desk makeover video sort of just to make it a little more functional because it's like the only place in my apartment where it's like, I feel like I could have done more, but just a desk. But at the same time, I'd like to give it a little pizzazz if you know what I'm saying. So Here is my dining nook. Let me move my phone because that's a distraction. I don't know, it's like a little nook. I feel like I can call it a nook because it's a nook. But I love this so much. I got this glass table because I wanted it to feel like I had furniture without it looking like I had furniture. So if you are wanting something like that, highly, highly recommend glass. Is it difficult to keep clean? Not really. You just have to have a good like non-street glass cleaner. Um, I just use Windex, um, so yeah, that's that. And then I have these two pretty, pretty pink chairs. It's kind of like a beigey nude pink. And these are also from Amazon, love. And then I have my vase of my flowers, which are so beautiful. My mom got them for me before she left. She did fly up with me here to Pennsylvania just for us to spend some quality time together and just for me to get back situated for the spring semester. I have these beautiful curtains from ikea lots of stuff from ikea and then i also have this lamp it was gifted to me i will link it to you guys down below but this lamp is really really great because you can turn the dial and it can be like a cool tone but i always keep it on the warm tone setting so yeah that is the dining area this is where i eat all of my meals and i will say it's like so much better to have like a little dining nook in a studio rather than just like eating all your meals on the couch because it just makes you feel like you have a lifestyle and once again like everything isn't just in one room. Just for perspective, once again, I just wanted to show you guys that right past the dining nook, right past this wall is my kitchen. So let's get into it. The lighting in here can be a little questionable, so just bear with me. In this corner right here, I do have my Bath & Body Works wallflower, which I love so much. I have some napkins and then this is sort of like my tea my matcha making station you guys know i'm more of a matcha drinker than i am coffee so i have my stirrups on this little two-tier thing that i just recently found at the target dollar section and then also i found these two little canisters with the black lids from the target dollar section too and i just have my earl grey tea i have my mint tea and of course this is my first stop pretty much every single morning when i wake up my little matcha corner so love that so much over here i do have this really cute little cocktail and mocktail book it's called fizz by ollie smith and i actually recently found this at altered state in their clearance section it was like six bucks so i'm planning on having a little galentine's day gathering and i am probably going to make a couple of recipes out of this book which is going to be super super cute over here i have some more canisters in here i have my splenda and i also have my matcha in the smaller one and this just works wonders for me. It's like so perfect, it's so easy, it's so simple. And also just like the white with the bamboo brightens up the gray granite, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's fine, it's fine. And then I do have my oil and balsamic vinegar dispenser. I know olive oil is technically supposed to be stored in a dark container, 
but this is just too cute like it looks like a little science experiment so i don't mind it don't don't start a war in the comments i know better but sometimes cute trumps functionality and this is one of those times i have this and it has all my cooking utensils i do need to unload my dishwasher so it's not completely filled right now that'll happen after i finish filming i am a stickler for a clean stove there will never be crumbs or grease or anything like that on my stove i'm just like that's one of those things where it's like mm -mm. Past my stove is my paper towel holder, which is empty. I need to put a paper towel roll on there. It is just from Walmart. Things like that just get cheap. It doesn't make a difference. Especially when the paper towel rolls on there, you don't even know what it looks like, you know what I'm saying? I have another IKEA glass soap dispenser. I need to refill. Wow, I'm like putting a lot of stuff on my to-do list while filming this video. I have my wooden cutting boards and I also have my air fryer. I have this little Edison bulb here that adds some nice light. And then in this corner here, I have my little like fruit bowl. My mom had bananas while she was here and she didn't finish eating them. I do not eat bananas, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I need to brag about this air fryer really quick. First of all, it's gorgeous. It's white and gold, love. It's fully touchscreen, which is insane. They have it at Walmart. I also have the toaster. I also have the kettle. All of them are white and gold. So aesthetic, so pretty, and also touchscreen as well. I do have my fridge right here. My freezer does have an ice maker, which is amazing. Love that. And that's it you guys that's my entire apartment i hope that you guys loved it once again be sure to check the description box for all the links to absolutely everything that i can find from this video if there was anything that you guys noticed that i missed that you're curious about just comment down below and i'm happy thank you guys so so much for watching this video and making it to the end of this video i really do appreciate it and i really hope you guys love my space as much as i do i know it's not possible for you guys to love it more than me so i'm hoping you guys love it as much as i do as i said throughout this video absolutely every single thing that i could find a link for is linked down below in the description box for you guys to shop just to be fully transparent some of the links are affiliate links and i do earn a very very small percentage of commission off of your purchase for informing your purchase but at no additional cost to you don't forget to subscribe like and continue watching because there's a little funny clip at the end that i want you guys to see i am going to go ahead and sign off but before i go i want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys Hello everyone, come on in. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that.